Lexi, you look amazing! No, this one's not about you. Everything that happened in that book really happened. So you are telling me and everyone else who watched that podcast that you traveled to an alternate dimension or reality or universe or whatever and came back? Yep. I told the interviewer that the book wasn't fiction. Why are you telling me all this? You believe me in the other life. But that till the end of the book. Well, does it have to take that long this time? Have you considered hiring a part-time personal assistant? Good morning. Hi, how can I help you? Brian! Well, have we met? No. You and I have worked together before. And the reason you wouldn't remember any of this is, is because it happened in an alternate reality. I have to be going, Miss Simon, because I'm do back on the planet Earth. Pretty used to people looking at me like I'm a total crazy person. Well, maybe I am attracted to crazy women. Who is doing this, Mr. Carter? Aliens. You're an idiot. Well, I want you to know that I, for one, I believe you. Thank you. You know, she's playing to the Christian mark. The church she goes to is very old, and they're trying to raise money for repairs to keep it open. Do you know who Tandem Daiquiri is? I am not fond of him, but I do. He wants me on his show. I know that the church needs the money. He can ruin your career. The elders would never approve doing it for the money, and I would have to agree with them. I really respect the decision not to let Betsy Simon use the church. If she doesn't want to defend herself here, I'll just go on the air and rip her to shreds there. After my meeting with Mr. Daiquiri, the elders now approve the interview. Shortly after its release, Betsy Simon's book, Heavens to Betsy, hit the bestseller list. The author claims that the story in the book is not fiction, but fact. <laughs> Are you now or have you ever been in therapy? Why do you need a referral? <laughs> that.